Well, good morning again on Good Morning Geelong. We've seen, uh, not surprisingly, a lot of emphasis in the last couple of weeks, uh, particularly in the media, that the whole question of, of safety in our streets, hardly a day goes by that we don't get reports of bashings and violence and so on, and it's, it, well, it gets to all of us, doesn't it? I, I know I was going to the uh, to a movie a, a week or so ago, and um, I decided, even though I live fairly close to the uh, village cinemas in Ryrie Street, I decided to drive the car because uh, I thought, well, <laughs> in night time, after the movies, why would you uh, walk extra blocks if you don't have to? And that's crazy. This was a midweek night, and uh, it just shows how much that sense of... Uh, of potential violence is there giving a, a sense of, if not fear, certainly apprehension to a lot of our living that, that wasn't there before. It's all linked in, of course, as we know, with uh, alcohol abuse, uh, often linked with drug abuse and so on. And uh, we've seen some very good campaigns, the uh, Geelong Advertisers Just Think campaign, the, uh, the way in which the AFL footballers, particularly the captains, are getting behind it and so on. All of which is, is terrific, but um, we've got to still make the question, of, guess, of course, of where is it all going to, uh, to bring us to? Are we really able to turn, turn this sort of culture that's emerged in the past maybe five, ten years uh, around? I was reading in a, a London uh, journal, actually, just a couple of weeks ago, something which uh, really made me think, because it echoed exactly the sort of... Uh, thinking that we've got here and the, the problems that we've got here. What's happening in London and Manchester and any number of other, Birmingham, any number of other places in England is no different from what we're experiencing here. It doesn't make it any better. But it was the particular line that this columnist took that uh, took my attention and he, uh, he said, well, we've turned the ship around with regards to smoking. Can we do it with regard to alcohol? A big ask, of course, but he... What he targeted, of course, was the, the fact that there's a, a degree of self-interest that we all have, uh, or that many people have at any rate, in, in terms of, of alcohol. We only go so far in terms of making it, whether it's more expensive, uh, the way the laws are enacted and policed and so on. And uh, I'll just read you a little of what he said. His name is Clifford Longley. He says, The government tackled smoking head-on. Why not alcohol? Is it because alcohol is the social lubricant of choice for the political and media classes and neither is prepared to take steps that might restrict its own pleasures? And he went on to say that he enjoys the odd glass of wine and so on every now and again. But he says, uh, really, we've got, uh, we've got a really major societal problem. And he's talking about England. He could easily be talking about uh, Australia. Victoria, Melbourne, and talking about Geelong. Interestingly enough, he, uh, he came up with a number of suggestions, and I, I put these to you just for your own thoughts uh, on this Saturday morning, just to be able to think in terms of, uh, well, how would I react to this if I was Premier or in a position of government to be able to uh, maybe bring in legislation which would uh, incorporate some of, these, some of these suggestions. And he says... How about no alcohol sale at all to the under 21s? A strict limit on the number of premises per thousand available for license, as licensed premises. A legal ban on half price happy hour promotions. A high legal minimum price per unit. A sharp hike in alcohol duties. The withdrawal from sale of all alco pops. A ban on all alcohol advertising. And the lowering of the drink drive limit. And that's just the first round. Then we get serious. <laughs> so <laughs> he really wasn't messing around saying that's just for starters. And uh, as we read that, I'm sure there are people uh, watching this now who would say, oh, fair go. And uh, that's precisely, of course, the, uh, the problem. Then, then again, all of those things are things which have been enacted with regard to tobacco. And we have seen a pretty major turnaround in terms of... Uh, the acceptability of, of cigarette smoking, recognising its enormous impact on, uh, in terms of cost and health on the whole of society. 
we're also seeing some horrendous figures in terms of just what the uh, reputation to Australia, the reputation of, of Melbourne and the reputation of Geelong uh, does to, to business, to tourism and so on when our streets are streets of mayhem on the weekend and at other times as well. So they're pretty major problems. I'm not suggesting that we can do all this in five minutes, but uh, that column certainly prompted me to think, well, yeah, maybe we do have to uh, uh, do a little more than just thinking. The, the Just Think campaign is, is terrific, and I, I commend it uh, very strongly, but we also have to act. And what sort of actions we do are actions which are going to impose not just on the, the drunks and, and the bullies and the yahoos, they're probably actions which in some form or other will make an imposition on all of us. Question is whether as a community, as, uh, as people who want to live peace-filled and safe lives, we're prepared to take those actions not just on others, but also even restricting ourselves. Good to be with you on Good Morning Geelong.